Most of Europe has been crushed under the Axis boot, forcing an Allied retreat. Their supply lines for food and raw materials are crippled. The Suez Canal is a lifeline, connecting Britain with its empire and Middle Eastern oil, making the war in North Africa crucial. As the British and Axis armies face each other across the Libyan-Egypt border, the front line swings like a pendulum across the western desert. A harsh, unforgiving strip of land between the Mediterranean and the Sahara. Mechanized warfare has come of age. Here, tanks are king. I've arrived in Tobruk off a boat filled with replacements and reinforcements. Young men blindly rushing to their deaths. None of them are comfortable having someone like me around. Suits me fine. Most of them won't make it out of here alive. Rommel was kicked out during Operation Crusader, but Axis forces are once again sweeping across the western desert. The Gazala Gallop began with the Allied retreat, and Rommel is at the city's throat. There's no time for tactics. 35,000 of us have one order. Hold to Brook. We lost to Brooke, but my work had drawn the attention of British naval intelligence. They've been following one of Hitler's protégés sent to Africa, a ruthless advocate of nerve agents in the last war, General Franz Wallen. Their informant close to Wallen has gone dark, so they want me to investigate. My first port of call is the Gaborown Oasis, an Axis transport hub. Scout teams and commanders pass through here, along with intel. I have the cover of darkness on my side. There's a few officers in the area, so that's where I'll start my search. I can see plenty of elevation around the lake, perfect to set up my rifle. If vallon has been here, there'll be a trail, and I'll find it. Pick through the wreckage to search the corpse. My reward? Two words. Project Zoika. Project Zoika. That's what the intel in Oasis pointed to. Valen's mysterious mission in Africa. I was supposed to find answers, 
but left with more questions. My orders are to find out what the informant knows, to fill in the blanks. Problem is, he's being held at a POW camp to the north, and the only way through is Halfaya Pass. I'm hitching a ride with a long-range desert group, but the Germans have dug in with flak 88s and a heavy motor pool. We can't afford a massive firefight. I'll have to take out the guns and help the LRDG push through. The pass is heavily fortified, with plenty of narrow spaces and close quarter surprises. I'll need to watch my six and pack a couple of mines to cover a quick exit. I suppose they don't call it Hellfire Pass for nothing. I've reached Fort Refugio. Right now, the informant is our only lead. I hope he's alive. The Allies held this place back in 41 during Operation Compass, so I have the basic layout. It sits menacingly on a coastal cliff, unassailable to an army. But a lone soldier should be able to find a quiet way in, once I make it past the searchlight. Even at night, there are plenty of Axis forces around. It will be near suicide to use my rifle before reaching elevated ground. Even so, if I go loud, I'll have to watch for reinforcements. There's a storm approaching. It could prove useful. <sighs> I'm here to get you out. There's an officer here, on Valen's staff. He has the key. back. I'm glad to see you again. We need to get you out of here. The only way is through the front. But I'm a little the worse for wear. I can give you cover. <sighs> can you walk? <sighs> Freedom is a great incentive. Yes, I can walk. Looks like he's made it out. I should be able to cover him from up here. The truth behind Project Zoika is still out of reach. The informant, Brower, wasn't able to uncover what it was before his capture, but he has a lead. A supply outpost in Siwa, frequented by Valen. We don't know if he'll be there, but the man likes to have everything precisely ordered. Valen will have every detail planned out, scheduled, written down. All I have to do is find it. Brower has been useful. He's given me the locations of Valen's office and the German storehouses. There are also some good sniper positions across the town and rumors of an old smuggler's entrance. It's going to be tight on the ground, but somewhere in this town, I will find what we need. Yes, them. 
Turns out they aren't happy with Valen's portraits everywhere or his grand base in the mountains. One of them is off to Berlin tonight with Valen's precious notebook. Which one is going? Ich weiß nicht. I overheard them arranging a meeting later. Perhaps to decide who gets to present the notebook as proof to the Führer. I'd say that makes us even, old chap. Don't you? <laughs> if you say so. Valen's notebook has revealed the location of his personal HQ. An outpost in a mountain pass. Early recon shows a large force stationed here, and the tank wrecks suggest a Tiger Division may be operating in the area. Valen must be paranoid about security. After the betrayal in Siwa, it's probably justified. Though it makes the task of infiltrating his HQ and tracking him down a little more challenging. He set up shop in the ruins of an ancient monument dug into the mountain wall. I'll have to move slowly through the open pass. But it looks like my rifle will get plenty of use from the high ridge lines. It'll be a good idea to bring some landmines. Maybe have Brower spot targets for me too. He's a worthy accomplice, with a good eye for trouble. Take the high road. You can spot targets for me. No going back now. Getting cold feet? What? In this heat? Hardly. I can see plenty of work for a sniper. Good. Brower. Brower? You were right. You see? Didn't I tell you? So Valen's mission in Africa is to develop a super tank, the Rat. It's hard to imagine the destructive power if it's ever deployed. But the tide of the war is turning. The Allies have retaken Tobruk and thinned Valen's supply lines. He's desperate to finish the Rat before he loses favor with Hitler. A combination of that desperation and Allied intel has helped us locate the construction facility. This is the last stop on the way. With the help of the LRDG, I'm to disable this airfield and completely sever Valen's supply route. I'll move in from the west and set up near the south gate. When the LRDG begin their attack, I'll provide covering fire. All hell will break loose when they turn up. It would be smart to take out the communications tower and cut down on reinforcements. Either way, this is going to get loud. This is it. End of the line. The Rat Construction Facility. Dug into the sides of the Midas Canyon. An odd place to build a tank. But the sheer drops will help with hiding bodies. 
It's time to destroy the rat and the entire facility. The Reich must not be allowed to build this again. I'll have to take out the production lines on the way through. There are a few good vantage points on the way too. And then, when that's done, I'll deal with Valen once and for all. Desert Ghost himself. The man who single-handedly tore through Hallfire, stole into Siwa, dueled with a tiger in Kasserim, and crippled our supply lines. I'm an admirer of your work. We are the same. You and I, we are both soldiers. Workers of war, we love our work. We are not the same. We are the same, you and I. Help me! I am nothing like you. I remember who I kill. dead, and the rat is destroyed, but the war is far from over. There are plenty of targets worthy of a bullet, men who need to die. Time to find more work. <laughs> 